how small. How are you, folks? I'll tell you, I love Montreal. I've never seen more good-looking women in one city in my life. I swear to God, I'm not saying that to get laid. I don't care. Um, but seriously, and you're naturally pretty, even the older women. You know, it's not like L.A., everybody's doing Botox and stuff. Let me tell you something. If you're an older person, you're going to do Botox on your face. Don't forget about the skin on your neck. Have you seen these people on TV? Their skin in their face is so tight, looks like they pulled a condom over a pumpkin. <laughs> but their necks got more wrinkles and a sharp haze balls dipped in ice water. <laughs> you spent 20 grand on your face, why don't you spend another 15 bucks on a turtleneck? <laughs> you got the forehead of a 10-year-old girl and the neck of a snapping turtle. Their face doesn't match their neck. If you ask somebody to guess your age and their first guess is 21 and their second guess is 78. <laughs> I saw Farrah Fawcett on TV a couple weeks ago deny denying she had any face work. Are you kidding me? The skin in her forehead is tighter than a snare drum. If she so much as farts, it's gonna split like a sofa cushion at John Goodman's house. Farrah said the key to keeping her skin young looking is keeping it moist. Yeah, well, I had your poster in my bedroom for 10 years. <laughs> Can't blame me for those crow's feet. I'll tell you that much, sweetheart. Uh, you're getting older. I understand you do stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm getting older. Uh, this is uh, how I know I'm getting older. I actually pulled a muscle in my neck, giving my wife the finger behind her back. <laughs> That's a true story. I... We're having a fight and she turned around and went, ah, what the hell was that? I got like a burning sensation. And she just giggled and walked away. She didn't even turn around. Like she did it through some menstrual powers I don't know about. Am I that old I have to warm up before I give somebody the finger? <laughs> Nick, what are you doing? Oh, I'm about to tell my boss to go shit in his hat. I don't want to tear a groin muscle kicking that asshole to the curb, you know? <laughs> Pull the neck muscle yelling at my wife. You know what we were fighting about? She wanted a security system for the house and they want eight grand to put it in. So I said no. So according to my wife, that means I don't love her, which I don't, but it's got nothing to do with the security system. <laughs> and this was her argument. She goes, what if one of those illegal immigrants that we see in the neighborhood tries to break into the house and rape me? I'm like, what do your fantasies have to do with this? She goes, I'm serious, you could cut my throat and leave me to die. I'm like, what do my fantasies have to do with this? <laughs> Can you imagine the ego on my wife? She thinks some little eagle every wants to have sex with her. Although they do jobs Americans don't want to do anymore. I agree with that much, you know. <laughs> Come on in, Jose. It's easier than picking lettuce. I'll tell you that much. Here's six bucks. Around the rim a couple times. Build a wall on the way out, will you? Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I love my wife, and, uh, you know, I, uh, I've been married five years. I remember the very moment I decided I was going to get married. I was sitting home one night. I was single. I was thinking, you know, my nuts are empty and my wallet's full. How can I reverse these two things? Yeah, they say marriage is a compromise. Yeah, real compromise. Compare the wedding rings after the ceremony. She's got a $15,000 diamond on her finger. I'm wearing a washer from a urinal that broke 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I love her a lot. You know, we, uh, I dated her for nine years before I married her. My, bu my buddy dated his girlfriend for 15 years. I go, that's a long time. He goes, hey, you don't buy a car without test driving it. Yeah, you don't put 100,000 miles on the test car either. 
Last thing you want is her having engine problems on your honeymoon. Oh, she won't turn over. Well, how many drinks did she have? 20, well, she's flooded, you know. <laughs> Dated her for nine years. That's a long goddamn time. I love her, but I, I realized I had to get married because I realized I was too old to date. Guys, this is when you know you're too old to date. I was in a bar, I was flirting with this beautiful woman. I didn't go home with her because I felt a bowel movement coming on. <laughs> uh, I was cock blocked by a calzone I ate at one o'clock. <laughs> I'm like, so what's your name? <laughs> oh, I'll I'll see you on Facebook. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> it's a true story. Yeah, it was uh, quite, quite a wedding. Uh, we get along good, me and the wife. We fight about a few things. We fight about money. She spends money like a Dominican pimp, like every woman I know. <laughs> Comes home last week with 20 disposable razors for five bucks. I go, I don't even use that kind. She goes, they're on sale. Yeah, so the tampons. When I pick me up 50 of those, I can tape them to my face to stop the bleeding after I shave with those razors you bought me. I'm scooping bone marrow out of my cheek. Hey, thanks for saving me a buck and a half, you thrifty whore. I appreciate it. I'm... She has to buy the best of everything. She can't buy cheap stuff. We have mice in our house in the basement, so I put some traps down. I caught her putting imported Parmesan Reggiano cheese in the traps at 20 bucks a pound. Hey, does Kraft Singles ring a bell, sweetheart? Jesus Christ. You're gonna leave him a biscotti and espresso make all later? These rats are from Westchester, not the Gambino family, for Christ's sake. You guys are terrific. Thanks a lot. Had a great time. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. Where we go to church on Sundays, church on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursday, Friday, funerals on Saturdays, and back to church on Sundays. It's like, what do you want to be, Tyler? A basketball player. <laughs> really, Tyler, your family only eats Pop-Tarts. How is that going to work out? You're going to lose energy on the